Hello and welcome to Rate That Character, the show where a member of the Source Gaming team discusses their opinion on a character's chances for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So even though information on the game has finally dropped, we do know that there are more newcomers to be revealed, and thus the series isn't going anywhere. But do remember that. This is not the view of Sakurai, Source Gaming as a whole, or any other member of the community. With that out of the way, my name is Nantendrex, and let's see who today's character is. What can we even really say about Shadow the Hedgehog? He is a very popular character within the Sonic fandom, despite not being one of the classics like Knuckles, Tails and Dr. Eggman. While many see him as the bane of current Sonic with his edgy attitude and his anti-Christian values, there is still a lot more to him than simply that. Sure, he had one really over-the-top edgy game on the PlayStation 2 and GameCube, but in all of his other appearances, he's actually fairly chill, if a bit of a loner. I can't even say that because he does have friends with Omega and Rouge, but that's beside the point. Shadow is a popular pick for Smash, but does he have a chance? Well, most support for Shadow actually comes from the fact that we haven't seen his assist trophy yet, and the inclusion of Knuckles as assist trophy led many to believe that Shadow was replaced. Then, on the advent of Echo Fighters being far more a focus now than they have been in any other game, even getting an official name now, Shadow as a Sonic Echo Fighter would work. He has the homing attack, he has the spin dash, and any of Sonic's standard attacks could all be done by Shadow, he'd just need a few different animations. Then when Chrom got revealed, to have a different upbeat from his original Echo, Roy, and Richter got revealed, confirming that third parties can have Echo Fighters and just second fighters in general, suddenly Shadow's chances looked a lot more likely. Sonic the Hedgehog is a big enough series that a second character is definitely warranted, and Shadow is a big enough character to deserve a spot on the roster. I mean, just look at all the other games that starred Sonic's friends. Knuckles' Chaotix, Tails' Adventure, the only one that's actually considered a part of the main series is Shadow the Hedgehog. And on top of that, since the great exodus of Sonic's friends being playable in the mainline Sonic games, with focus on purely Sonic and classic Sonic, Shadow is the only one to come back as a playable character in the latest Sonic Forces, even if it was DLC. Shadow would also be a good representative of modern Sonic. The only stuff we really have for that is the homing attack and then the Windy Hill stage. Everything else is very much focused on the classic Sonic. With the rise of Sonic Mania almost creating a second subset of Sonic games, I think it's important that there is representation for both the originals and the 3D, as both have had a big impact on the legacy of the franchise. So why shouldn't Shadow get in? Well, there are a lot of other, more important Sonic characters out there, for sure, like Tails and Knuckles and Eggman. They've been in the series longer and have appeared in far more games, even modern games. And while Shadow is a big enough character from his own series, he's hardly a big, impactful character in the gaming verse, although I would also argue that either is Richter. In fact, Shadow's probably more well known than Richter. So I suppose the only real argument against Shadow is that Sonic's moves don't fit him that well, which isn't quite true. It's more an argument of Shadow could have an original moveset, either utilising chaos attacks or guns, but then arguably so could have Dark Pit, so it's a really hard claim to make. So that con section was very short. Ultimately, it comes down to the fact that if we're looking at third party echoes now, and the fact that Shadow's assist trophy hasn't been seen yet, a lot of signs are all pointing to Shadow appearing as a playable character, and I wouldn't have said this a few weeks ago, but now I feel like there is a very good chance that we're going to see Shadow. Even if we've only got a few Echo Fighters left, I think he's at the top of the likely candidates. Thank you for watching today's Rate That Character. If you liked this video then give us a like and share with your friends. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on today's character and give us a suggestion for a future character you would like us to rate. I want to thank all our patrons, in particular our super patron the Duke of Dorks. A link to his channel can be found below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date and always remember to return to the source.